Hi right, guys, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, I better introduce you actually. I'd, to be honest, probably neither of you need any introduction. We've got a uh, Super League legend, St. Helens veteran. Can I say that, Kyle? I think you can now. I think I qualify as a veteran, you, Northern Peak. So yeah, I'm, all, banged, I'm okay you, with that. Time. You've banged up a few games, mate, playing rugby league. But brilliant to have you, Kyle Amor. Thanks, thanks so much for joining us, Kyle. It's uh, it's good to see you. I've missed you actually. I never thought I'd say that. No worries, Pete. Yeah, no, it's been a while, hasn't it, mate? You know, given everything that's going on with COVID and everyone's been yeah. away from all stadiums and everything, you're normally there around the place, ripping the, you know, I taking know. the mick out of all the lads. So, no, it's good to see you, pal. Hey, cheers, mate. I, I to tell you what, I've really missed it as well. And probably the biggest compliment I can give you is, like, I've done a bit of a Kyle Amor tribute out to me here just to, to remind me of you when I get up in the morning and stuff. It's even going grey like mine now as well. Yeah, no, so, yeah, yeah. I'm getting a bit older. But um, I'm saving, don't take this wrong way, but I'm saving best to last year, introduction-wise, because I know I know you're a proud Cumbrian, Kyle, and yeah. um, there's a guy who's been sort of, I think everyone's noticed what he's doing, his challenge. Uh, he's joined us on this video today, and um, I, I'm, I'm in awe of the man, to be honest. It's, I think it's incredible what he's doing. So, first of all, I'll introduce him and then speak a little bit about the challenge he's undertaking. Gary McKee. Gary, thank, thanks so much for joining us, mate. I know you're a man of few words, but you do your talking, basically with your training shoes on, don't you? Just tell us a little bit about this incredible challenge you've taken on. The challenge I'm, I'm actually doing at the moment is to run 110 marathons in 110 days. Today was day 66. So I ran, got up and ran every single day. Um, and again, due to COVID restrictions, it's been a little bit more difficult than we thought, just simply because of numbers. You know, when you're running either on your own or with one other person, there isn't as much conversation and what have you. But now that we're back to six, it, it, the same the days fly in and you pick up your pace and you just uh, you crack on with it, and it's quite good actually. You just talk like you're going about just going to paper shop and get daily mirror in the morning. I, I, Honestly, when I realised what you were doing, I could not get my head around it. I had to read it twice, thinking, is, is that actually right? 110 marathons in 110 days. Kyle, I've seen you training at Saints, mate, doing 20 yeah. metre shuttle runs, and you have to have a lie down and get on oxygen tanks. But I, I just can't get my head around what he's doing. What's your thoughts on someone like Gary? It's, you know, anyone, you know, anyone from the outside looking in, Gary, would think you were bonkers. Do you know what I mean? Like the, what you're putting your body through is, is unbelievable, really. And, you know, it's certainly something that, you know, that hasn't gone unnoticed between our group of players down at Saints. And, you know, I was speaking to our, our conditioner, Matty Daniels, Pete, you'll know him. Yeah, yeah. He loves all of his running, doesn't he? He does the, yeah, yeah. He, he does the uh, what are they, like the ultra marathons, the 50 mile, 50 mile ones and that. But he'll just do, like, he'll train to do one of them. You know, and we were speaking about what you're going through, Gary, and what you're doing. And he couldn't get his head around it. He just thought, he, 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 his mind can't comprehend it. But not only that, Gary, it's the times that you're running them in. It's crazy, you know, all like round about four hours, sub four hours. And I seen the other day, you managed to chalk off your PB after after 62 marathons, which is crazy. Like, on, honestly, I, I'm, yeah. I'm sure that you're aware of how, how everybody's seeing this challenge that you're doing, but... I mean, to you, like you said, like you said earlier, it's like he's just going to the paper shop. It's like a walk in the park. But you know, to everybody else looking in, mate, it's it, it's absolutely, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. What you're I do doing. see what people. I, I hear what people are saying, and I do hear what people are saying and, and yeah. things. And to be honest with you, I'm like, it's only running, you know. And, and to be honest, that's exactly what it is. Um, my pace is. We've done a three forty the other day. It's usually under. It depends who's running with you. Yeah. You know, we're not. Yeah. ourselves we just put one foot in front of the other having the crack while we're we're running and the, i can't remember having a day out of the 66 days where we haven't had to stop because we're laughing our heads off about something you know but when you look at the bigger bigger picture, all we're doing it's a 110 pace jigsaw and you put one piece in at a time but if you look at how you've helped me out and you, you've got a, a side shirt and you've raffled it for his. And, and I know if I'm well, you're a proud Cumbrian like I am. You've got, and you've said to your St. Helens mates, I've got a Cumbrian lad up there who's going to run 110 marathons. Now I'm going to let you down. I'm not. That's not going to happen because I know at training, the lads will be saying to you, how's he getting on? And you'll be saying, yeah, yeah. day 66 today. And you're as proud as I am. You know, you're behind me 
and we're convinced, and everybody else, you know, cancer, we're doing it for cancer charities, and it's uh, non discriminated it just affects every single person. So everybody can relate to it and, and jump on board with it. I've also got uh, Amy sorted out some um, tops with the number 110 on the back. Imagine people buying them and me only doing 70. Yeah. You know, they'd be like, the tops, you might as well burn them. You know, because they wouldn't be valid. Anymore. It's not what you said you were going to do. It's got my K110. Now, as well as me doing 110 marathons in 110 days, my 16-year-old son is cycling a marathon distance on the static bike every single day. And the other kids are doing something and not one of them have missed. So that shirt is for him as well. Yeah. Brilliant. How do you get your kids to do that, mate? I He's proud to put it on his back and say, this isn't just for me, Dad. That's got my <laughs> He's got Hey, Kyle, is it so you got him a signed shirt from Saints Lads? I've yeah, I mean, obviously, Dad. Signed... Gotcha. I asked yeah, you for I mean... a signed shirt nine years back and you said it was 400 <laughs> quid. Did you not charge him? <laughs> Yeah, because you said you were going to drink 110 cups of tea in 110 days. I didn't think that was worth it. <laughs> hey, I, I'll give that a go through lockdown, mate. <laughs> Definitely. But, um, but yeah, no, it was just something that, that you know, obviously, uh, for those who don't know, Gary, you done a you done a similar challenge a few years ago, didn't you? Was it was it 100, 100 in 100 days? Was it? Yeah, that was four years ago. That was. Um, that was because my dad would have been 80 and it was 20 years since his cancer diagnosis. So 80 and 20, 100, let's just do 100 marathons. And it was simple as, as that. And that's what we're yeah. doing. And then obviously just hearing that he was going above and beyond that again, doing 110 it, straight away, I thought, right, well, what can, you know, how can I support Gary? Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So I just thought, like I said, when, when speaking to the lads at the club, I just thought the best way to do it is, get a shirt, get everybody in on board. So it's not just about the shirt, it's about everybody buying a, a raffle ticket, acknowledging what Gary's doing yeah. and contributing towards that if they felt they wanted to. And I thought that that was probably the best way we could spin some funds together within two weeks, really, and and, uh, and give it a go, really. So, yeah, thankfully, a lot of people ended up buying the ticket that raised, I think it was something like nearly 600 or something around about that mark pound for them, really. Yeah, um, it was which, that, yeah. yeah, so I was, you know, I was made up with that, with, given that, you know, and I was made up with just making more people aware of what he's doing because, like I say, it's for it's yeah. for some fantastic causes that that you know that obviously are close to Gary, but inevitably and you know hopefully not, but the the likelihood is everybody will probably be affected at some stage in their life by them. Yeah, I know, Gary. Uh, you, I, I spoke to you yesterday. You were so pleased that Kyle got on board to, to help you, and I think that epitomises rugby league to me. Everyone, everyone will get get together, won't they, and, and support? Definitely. And I know. Yeah. I know, I know you're a Wigan fan, so receiving a St. Ellen shirt would um, would, would it kind of mix feelings for you? <laughs> you told me not to mention that, didn't you? <laughs> Why did you have to say that? Yeah, no, no, no <laughs> yeah, one would, uh, It's clear that anybody's getting involved in the fact that it was a St. Ellen shirt and I didn't win it was absolutely fantastic. I paid the money and didn't win it, so everybody's a winner. <laughs> No, I, th I think Maybe. if you do if you do come down to Totally Wicked Stadium, like if 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 it's Saints Wigan game, I'm sure I'm sure people forget the rivalries and you'll receive a hero's welcome, mate. I'm I'm pretty sure of that. Wouldn't it, Kyle? I think we've seen it before down at the club. It doesn't matter who you support. When when someone does something like Gary's doing it, I think they get all yeah. the awards they deserve. Definitely, you know, I think the whole you know whole rugby league community. It's important to remember as well that there's been a lot of local amateur clubs back up in Cumbria yeah. and probably throughout the country who've helped Gary and, and uh, you know raised awareness or yeah. donated or done something. It's not just the Super League. A lot of the rugby community across the country has sort of uh, acknowledged what he's doing. And I think you know you only look at times you know with Mossy Maso, Rob Burrow yeah. in the past closer to our mine and Gary's arts, the Gary Purden back in yeah. 2010. Um, you know, we all rally round yeah. together when when there's something that's that's worth either celebrating or that's worth raising a uh, you, you know money for. So uh, long may that continue. Yeah. Really, brilliant. I know Gary as well. Though one of the things that you're grateful for, you're actually going through so many pairs of top class trainers as well, aren't you? Because you're you're putting so many miles in. I mean, I got some of them Lonsdale slip-ons from Sports Direct. <laughs> I've had them eleven years now, but I only walk around chipping them so. You're going through them at a faster rate than I am, but I know you're chuffed, aren't you, that people are supporting you and supplying with your trainers for your challenge? One of the things people 
either don't know or they fail to recognise is that when you take on these challenges, you take on the cost of doing them as well. And I run in insurers that uh, they cost £130 a pair and they don't last very long. Yeah. And another thing is that you need a lot of cushioning around your feet because you break the blood vessels in the bottom of your feet and you end up passing blood. Um, I, I wrote a, a bit of a diary from when I ran the 100 marathons and you can, you know, yeah. when something's not quite right with your feet because you start passing blood. Um, so I, that hasn't happened at this point. I'm on day 66 and I'm sure it's down to the fact that I am wearing more or less new trainers all the time and I'm looking after my feet. I never get blisters. Um, and, and that's something that people don't really consider. So yeah. to be yeah. successful, you need to plan how you're going to run things and what you're going to do. Were you surprised when Kyle says he'd be happy to do a, a marathon with you if you got five pairs of pre trainers? <laughs> I thought he'd said he would eat a marathon if I. Uh... Sneakers now, aren't they? Sneakers now, Kyle. Aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Pre <laughs> if I don't, yeah. I was very surprised. Say, Garrett, I mean, I know I'm just a bit daft, me. I'll just have a bit of a laugh. But ultimately, hopefully, this will get you a little bit more publicity, which is the reason why I'm doing it. How can we, if anyone's watching this video, how can they support you now? If they want to make a donation, what 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 do they do? And you haven't, I know, sure. I know the two charities that you're doing it for, but just quickly tell us uh, you, 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 where you've chose them to. So the charities are uh, Macmillan Cancer Support and West Cumbria Hospice at Home. And I chose Macmillan because I, I, my dad was diagnosed with cancer um, in 1997 and he was a cancer survivor. He passed yeah. away six years later of an unrelated illness. Um, and I, I just remember the day that we were told he had cancer, the whole world turned upside down. And yeah. if there's one charity that can get you back on your feet, yeah. uh, and going to, we say a charity begins at home, and they're going to more homes than any other charity in this country. Yeah. So I, I started fundraising knowing that people, every single day, were being told the devastating years that we'd yeah. been told. Yeah. So that was my Macmillan story. With um, West Cumbria Hospice at home, due to COVID, all the charity shops have closed. They haven't got a regular income. The big fundraisers have all been cancelled and they're on the bones of the bum, to be quite honest with you, but they're still out there trying to provide uh, the support that families yeah. need. So yeah. I thought by getting them involved and raising money for them, it would sustain what they do and they do a fantastic job. So if anybody would like to donate, we've got a Virgin Money page that's set up. Yeah. Um, I've got over £52,000 on it at the moment. Um, which is, is good, you know, because if you consider that we just live in yeah. a village, Bothbrow isn't massive, yeah. 7,000 people live in Um and I know that it's been, there's that much money on the page because of the people like Kyle, you know, people doing care graphics, yeah. and people chipping in and helping me, and I'm so grateful for people who are doing stuff like that. Yeah. But it would, again, it would be great if somebody else picked up the button and tried to raise the profile of what we're doing. When Kevin yeah. Sinfield done his seven in seven days, they raised 2.7 million. You know, I'm on day 66 today, and we're not going to get anywhere near that. And I know I'm not Kevin Sinfield. Yeah, yeah. I believe that what I'm doing. Hopefully, hopefully with people like Kyle getting involved and the knock-on effect, hopefully that'll help get involved publicity. I think you're just breaking up a bit there, Gary. I've just seem to have lost you. I know there's probably not in terms of... Uh, raise money much I can do but I know Kyle um, I've worked at Saints for quite a long time and you were quite surprised when you saw this in the background of um, your old teammate John Wilkin rather than a picture of yourself I know you were disappointed but <laughs> there's a reason behind that mate and um, what I'm going to do Gary I'm going to donate this picture uh, of John Wilkin uh, obviously England Great Britain St Helens all KR and anything that any who can raise from that, uh, I'll go to your fund because it's been up my loft for nine years. I'm sick to death of the thing, like, and it saved me taking it to tip. So, if anyone wants to start us <laughs> off with a bid for that, they're more than welcome. Um, I can't fit it on my log burner, so hope oh, we can get Kyle. Would you start us off at three quid? I'll start off at three quid, Pete. Yeah, I probably, win. I probably, I probably win that. So, so to Kyle, we'll put it up in your spotted dressing room <laughs> at stadium. But no, listen, Gary. It, it was just a bit of fun and hopefully with, with the contacts we've got, we'll, we'll try and get it out there and hopefully more people will jump on and support you because, you know, we've had a bit of a laugh on that, but honestly, just in awe of what you're doing and I'm sure you agree, Kyle, very, very special bloke. 
And uh, the, them Cumbrians are a different breed, but he, he's out on his own in my eyes. Oh, sure is, mate. Sure is. Again, what Gally, what you're doing, is, you know, it's it's unbelievable, and and you know the way that you're carrying yourself about it, and just saying it's only just one foot in front of the other. It's so much more than that, pal. And uh, I'm sure that every one of those families that you're helping out with the money that you raised will will, uh, will echo exactly what I'm saying, mate. So uh, you know, from from myself and everyone at Sains, a massive well done, pal. Uh, you do in Cumbria proud, you know what Thanks, I mean. I, I love waking up every day and looking at your little video before you go out for your run. And um, you know, just keep an update with you. Uh, keep going, mate. And uh, like you say, just keep offsing on, pal, and it'll be uh, it'll be good. Nice words, Gal. Thank, hey, thank you for all the support that you're giving us. You as well, please. It's hey, no know, problem, it's... Gary. It's just anything yeah. to help, really, especially Kyle as well, because I remember him when he was a young lad playing for Whitehaven against Halifax. I remember watching you, Kyle, play for Whitehaven in the Blackpool, the filed nines competition. Do you remember? Do you remember it? You were, you, you, you were, you had your long hair, you were really quick. <laughs> no, it must have been another bloke. I've never been quick. You. I've never been quick, Pete, never. You were thinking I thought Greg McNally then, it would definitely you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, mate, hey, Carl, thanks for joining us, mate. And uh, Gary, just wish you every, every success, mate. And uh, hopefully keep on raising money. You've raised a hell of a lot of money. You're going to make a lot of difference to people's lives and I yeah. think I hope for, I hope you're very proud of that as well mate yeah I am mate I, I always say that as the achievement not the marathons it's the money that helps change people's lives and you know that's why we keep doing it but thanks to yourself Pete and definitely thank cheers mate been, been, been a pleasure you, Kyle as well absolutely brilliant and, and when when you finished it we're going to chip in and we're going to get you uh, a, a, a wireless uh, faster broadband router for you when it keeps on breaking up. Kel knows what I'm saying, don't you? He normally always says that we've only just got coloured TV in uh, Cumbria now, guys, so we are catching up. No, hey, next you. time I got to watch you, that what? No, I went, don't, no, hey, don't, no. I, I, <laughs> don't backtrack now, Boot. Yeah, Carl, I went up to Wathbrow um, to, to do a bit of a do with uh, Adrian Morley, just like an idiot. Tell you what, great set of lads, I re really enjoyed oh, yeah. it. Class. That is the most yeah. picturesque rugby place I've ever seen. We, me oh, and Waz went, we, we met in car park and we said, oh, we're like, wow. Then we went into Rome to do to do gig. Moss speaks about his career and I speak about my rugby league career after him as well. So it's a little bit shorter and a bit different to his to tell you the truth. But I just want to say a bit about the Waff Brow clientele. We went in and it, there were about 60 lads in there and Moss said to me, he goes, they're a bit rough in here, Pemo. Do, do you think I'll be all right? I went, you'll be all right, Moss. I'll, I'll look after you, pal. Don't worry about that. We had a top night, mate. Crack, cracking set of lads, and, and Gary, an ex-player with them as well. So, you, 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 you certainly want one of them guys. Keep it up, mate. Thank Kyle, you, thanks man. again, mate, and hopefully, yeah, Pete. Thanks, Kyle. Good luck on Saturday. No worries. Take it easy. Cheers, cheers, guys.